Anorexia nervosa has a mortality rate of up to approximately a 1%, b 18%, c 30%, d 42%, e 50%. The answer is b. The majority of studies indicate that the death rates for anorexia nervosa range from 5% to 18%. Admission of hunger and a decline in immaturity and denial are signs of a positive outcome. Childhood neuroticism, parental discord, and bulimia nervosa are just a few of the factors at play. Characteristic results in anorexia nervosa include a. Decreased serum cholesterol levels b. Decreased serum salivary amylase concentrations c. ST segment and T wave changes on electrocardiography. D. Increased fasting serum glucose concentrations. E. All of the above. The answer is C. Anorexia nervosa cannot be diagnosed using laboratory procedures. Patients who are emaciated will experience bradycardia and hypertension. The underweight state causes endocrine alterations such as amenorrhea, which return to normal with weight gain. Features associated with anorexia nervosa include a. Onset between the ages of 10 and 30 years b. Mortality rates of 20 to 25 percent c. The fact that 7 to 9 percent of those affected are male d. Normal hair structure and distribution e. All of the above. The answer is A. Features associated with anorexia nervosa include onset between the ages of 10 and 30 years. Lanugo, neonatal like body hair, not normal hair structure and distribution. Mortality rates of 5 to 18 percent, not 20 to 25 percent. And the fact that 4 to 6 percent, not 7 to 9 percent, of those affected are male. Which of the following is the most common comorbid disorder associated with anorexia nervosa? A. Body dysmorphic disorder. B. Bulimia. C. Depression. D. Obsessive compulsive disorder. E. Social phobia. The answer is C. In 65% of cases, anorexia nervosa is accompanied with depression social anxiety, and obsessive-compulsive disorder. A eating disorder is co-occurring with psychiatric disorders. A major comorbidity of anorexia, estimated at 20%, is body dysmorphic disorder. Which of the following percentages below expected weight does an anorexic patient generally fall before being recommended for inpatient hospitalization? A. 20% b. 40% c. 60% d. 80% e. None of the above. The answer is a. It is advised that anorexic individuals who are 20% under the acceptable weight for their height enroll in inpatient hospital programs. Patients who are 30% below their predicted weight must stay in a mental hospital for 2 to 6 months. A patient's medical condition and the level of structure required to secure patient compliance are taken into account, while deciding whether to hospitalize the patient. Treatments that have shown some success in ameliorating anorexia nervosa include a. Cyproheptadine b. Electroconvulsive therapy c. Chlorpromazine d. Fluoxetine. E. All of the above. The answer is E. The medication chlorpromazine is very beneficial for seriously unwell patients who are plagued by frequent thoughts of slimming down. In anorectic restrictors, cyproheptadine at high doses can promote weight gain. Fluoxetine, according to some recent research, may help anorexia nervosa patients avoid relapsing. 
a young woman who weighed about 10% above the average weight but was otherwise healthy, functioning well, and working hard as a university student joined a track team. She started training four hours a day, more than her teammates, and began to perceive herself as fat and thought that her performance would be enhanced if she lost weight. She started to diet and reduced her weight to 87% of the ideal weight for her age according to standard tables. She started to feel apathetic and morbidly afraid of becoming fat. Her food intake became restricted, and she stopped eating anything containing fat. Her menstrual periods became skimpy and infrequent but did not cease, and she was not taking oral contraceptives. The diagnosis of anorexia nervosa can be made for the above patient because a. She did not reach less than 85% of expected weight. b. She restricted her food intake. c. She retained some menstrual functioning. d. She joined the track team. e. She started out 10% above the average weight. The answer is B. The patient above would be diagnosed with the restrictor subtype of anorexia nervosa by the majority of experienced eating disorder therapists. However, because she did not lose more than 85% of her predicted weight, this patient would be classified as having an eating disorder under rigorous DSM-4TR guidelines. Patients with atypical anorexia nervosa have a distorted body image. B. Recognize their thinness. C. Respond poorly to treatment. D. Have less favorable outcomes. E. None of the above. The answer is B. Accepting their extreme thinness increases the likelihood that anorexia nervosa patients will benefit from therapy, because they are less inclined to battle the false perception that they are overweight. In the majority of patients, self-esteem and self-image are inextricably related to body weight. Which of the following features can be associated with bulimia nervosa? A. Undeveloped breasts. B. Abnormal insulin secretion. C. Widespread endocrine disorder. D. A previous episode of anorexia nervosa. E. Body weight at least 15% below normal. The answer is D. A previous episode of anorexia nervosa is often associated with bulimia nervosa. This episode may have been fully or only moderately expressed. Undeveloped and underdeveloped breasts, abnormal insulin secretion, widespread endocrine disorder, and body weight at least 15% below normal are all associated with anorexia nervosa, not bulimia nervosa. Which of the following is not an endocrine or structural change noted as a result of starvation? A. Thyroid suppression. B. Increased total brain volume. C. Hypercortisolemia. D. Gonadotropin-releasing hormone suppression. E. Enlarged ventricles. The answer is B. Opioids may help anorexic nervosa sufferers suppress their hunger. Early research reveals that some individuals who were given opiate antagonists saw substantial weight gains. Before experiencing significant weight reduction, some anorectic individuals develop amenorrhea, which is caused by low hormone levels. Biological complications of eating disorders may include Salivary gland and pancreatic inflammation. B. Gastric or esophageal tearing or rupture. C. Cardiac arrhythmias, loss of cardiac muscle, and cardiomyopathy. D. Leucopenia. E. All of the above. The answer is E. Most of the physiological and metabolic changes in anorexia nervosa are secondary to the starvation state or purging behaviors. These changes usually revert to normal with nutritional rehabilitation or cessation of the purging behavior. 
Medical complications of eating disorders related to weight loss include all of the following except a. Abnormal taste sensation b. Bradycardia c. Constipation and delayed gastric emptying d. Erosion of dental enamel with corresponding decay e. Osteoporosis The answer is d. Erosion of dental enamel with corresponding decay is associated with the purging behavior of eating disorders, not to the weight loss of eating disorders. Table 22.1 lists medical complications related to weight loss and purging in eating disorders. Among these complications are bradycardia, delayed gastric emptying, disturbed taste sensation, and osteoporosis. Patients who binge eat but do not compensate in any way afterward are most likely to have a. Anorexia nervosa b. Bulimia nervosa c. Binge eating disorder d. Obesity e. Night eating syndrome The answer is c. Patients who binge eat but then do nothing to make up for it are said to have binge eating disorder. These patients are virtually equally likely to be male or female and are frequently medically overweight or obese. Patients alternate periodic episodes of binging or purging with attempts at strict diets. Pickwickian syndrome is a. When persons eat excessively after they have had their evening meal. b. Binge eating without the inappropriate compensatory behaviors. C. When a person is 100% over desirable weight with cardiorespiratory pathology. D. When persons feel their bodies are grotesque and loathsome. E. Sudden, compulsive ingestion of very large amounts of food in a short time. The answer is C. A person is said to have Pickwickian syndrome if their weight is 100% excessive. In the absence of bulimia nervosa, binge eating disorder is defined as recurring episodes of binge eating. People who have body dysmorphic disorder think that a certain feature of their bodies is repulsive. Epicac intoxication is associated with a. Pericardial pain and cardiac failure b. Dyspnea c. Generalized muscle weakness D. Hypertension. E. All of the above. The answer is E. Patients with bulimia nervosa who self-induce vomiting are prone to the same consequences as those with anorexia nervosa. Severe tooth erosion can result from vomiting, which exposes one to gastric secretions. Epicac poisoning is a medical emergency that frequently leads to cardiac failure and death. Which of the following is true of eating disorders in relation to obesity? A. Binge eating disorder is more common than bulimia nervosa in obese patients. B. All bulimic persons are obese. C. Patients with bulimia nervosa have lower rates of psychopathology than obese patients. D. All of the above. E. None of the above. The answer is A. In obese patients, binge eating disorder is more prevalent than bulimia nervosa and is linked to more co-occurring mental conditions, such as major depression. Comparing obese people with and without binge eating disorder, those with the disease have higher rates of psychopathology. A 17-year-old young woman presents to clinic reporting anhedonia, decreased energy, and hopeless feelings for the past two years. She denies drinking, smoking, or use of recreational drugs. Her physical examination results are normal, and she denies suicidal ideations. After some consideration, her psychiatrist decides to prescribe her biopropion. Of the following, which is a contraindication for usage of biopropion? A. Smoking. B. Dysthymia. C. Chronic fatigue syndrome. D. 
Bulimia. E. None of the above. The answer is D. Bupropion is not contraindicated for the treatment of patients with dysthymia and chronic fatigue syndrome because it is used to treat depressed symptoms in these patients. Electrolyte abnormalities can occur in bulimic patients as a result of vomiting, taking diuretics, or using laxatives. The use of bupropion is not prohibited by smoking. Directions Each set of lettered headings below is followed by a list of numbered words or phrases. For each numbered word or phrase, select A. If the item is associated with binge eating or purging type only. B. If the item is associated with food restricting type only. C. If the item is associated with both binge eating or purging type and food restricting type. D. If the item is associated with neither binge eating or purging type nor food restricting type. Social isolation. The answer is C. Associated with both binge eating or purging type and food restricting type. Tend to have family members who are obese. The answer is B. Associated with food restricting type only. Calorie consumption is usually below 500 calories per day. The answer is A. Associated with binge eating or purging type only. Overexercising. The answer is C. Associated with both binge eating or purging type and food restricting type. Has similar features to bulimia nervosa, without anorexia nervosa. The answer is B. Associated with food restricting type only. The two subgroups of anorexia nervosa, binge eating or purging and food restriction, have been identified. There is a high likelihood that substance misuse, impulse control issues, and personality disorders are present in those who binge and purge. Both types frequently exhibit characteristics like overtraining and perfectionism. Directions Each set of lettered headings below is followed by a list of numbered words or phrases. For each numbered word or phrase, select if the item is associated with anorexia nervosa only. B. If the item is associated with bulimia nervosa only. C. If the item is associated with anorexia nervosa and bulimia nervosa. D. If the item is associated with neither anorexia nervosa nor bulimia nervosa. Severe weight loss and amenorrhea. The answer is A. Associated with anorexia nervosa only. Visual agnosia, compulsive licking and biting, hypersexuality. The answer is D. Associated with neither anorexia nervosa nor bulimia nervosa. After 5 to 10 years, at least 50% will be markedly improved. The answer is C. Associated with anorexia nervosa and bulimia nervosa. Higher fatality rate. The answer is A. Associated with anorexia nervosa only. Family therapy is not widely used. The answer is B. Associated with bulimia nervosa only. Cognitive behavioral therapy is the benchmark, first-line treatment. The answer is B. Associated with bulimia nervosa only. Decreased appetite only occurs in the most severe stages. The answer is A. Associated with anorexia nervosa only. Body weight of less than 85% of the patient's expected weight. The answer is A. Anorexia nervosa only.
bulimia nervosa cannot be the diagnosis if binging and purging habits are present in a person who fits anorexia nervosa diagnostic criteria. Amenorrhea and extreme weight loss are two characteristics that set anorexia and bulimia apart from one another. Rarely, bulimic tendencies may be linked to a central nervous system tumor. First-line treatment for bulimia nervosa should be cognitive behavioral therapy, which should be regarded as the gold standard. Directions Each set of lettered headings below is followed by a list of numbered words or phrases. For each numbered word or phrase, select A. If the item is associated with bulimia nervosa only. B. If the item is associated with binge eating disorder only. C. If the item is associated with bulimia nervosa and binge eating disorder. D. If the item is associated with neither bulimia nervosa nor binge eating disorder. Patients are almost as likely to be male as female. The answer is B. Associated with binge eating disorder only. Binges include high carbohydrates and sugars. The answer is A. Associated with bulimia nervosa only. Binge eating begins before dieting. The answer is B. Associated with binge eating disorder only. Eating is in response to unpleasant emotions. The answer is B. Associated with binge eating disorder only. The definition of bulimia nervosa includes binge eating as well as improper methods of preventing weight gain. The most frequent methods of compensating for binge episodes are self-inflicted vomiting and laxative usage. Patients who binge eat but then do nothing to make up for it are frequently medically overweight or obese, and men are almost equally likely to engage in binge eating as women.